one of the most popular core exercises ever is a plank. But there is a huge difference between just holding a plank and then being in an active plank position. Today I want to highlight what an active plank position means. So being in an active plank means that you are actively recruiting muscular force throughout the body. You're not just trying to hold still, you're trying to actually generate tension between your head all the way down to your toes while you're holding that still position. So I'll show you what I mean here. So as I come down to my forearms into my plank position, you can see, I can stay here for a while if I need to, right? just hanging out. Not really too much is going on. It looks like I'm doing a lot of work, but in reality, the only thing I really feel working is a little bit of my lower core, just enough to hang on here. Now, to get the most bang for your buck, what you want to do is create as much tension as possible or try to recruit muscular force. Now, this doesn't require me to start jumping around or moving my plank. Rather, I'm going to try and move the ground around me as well as try to move my body landmarks like my belly button, my tailbone, my butt closer towards my midline, almost like I'm trying to squeeze everything in and deep and tight together. So if I'm going to get back into my plank position, rather than just holding here, we're going to go from the upper half body all the way down to my feet. First, what you want to do is drive your palms and forearms through the floor. So you notice this is relaxed and this is my active position. The whole time I'm continuing to press my palms and forearms down into the floor. Next, what I'm going to do is try and draw my belly button back towards my tailbone. Now, as I do that, my cheeks are going to squeeze a little bit. So I go from here to a subtle tuck. Now, almost like a magnet's pulling your belly button back towards your tailbone, that's going to, one, save your low back from drooping down towards the floor, and two, create greater intra-abdominal pressure, giving you much more of a core squeeze, core engagement as you're going through. Now, after that, what you're going to do is with those cheeks squeezed, you're going to engage your thighs as well. So I'm going to try and imagine drawing my kneecaps back in space, so kneecaps towards the ceiling. This is going to activate the front side of my quads, again, reinforcing a strong front side. As you can tell, I'm getting a little bit more tired by holding that position, so in order to keep talking, I'm going to take a quick break. Being in an active position does require a lot more energy, so you won't be able to hold that active position for 45, one to two minutes, right? It's gonna be a very short stint. So 15 to 30 seconds and putting as much effort and energy into it as possible is gonna give you the res results you'd like to yield. So again, going back into it. So again, forearms and hands are pressed on down, belly button's tucked back, kneecaps are drawn back, and then the last one, or last two, are you're gonna attempt to press your heels towards the floor. So the further I let my heels lengthen, I'm going to get a gentle stretch in my calves, but this also puts a little bit more stress on the front side of my core to remain engaged and stable. Now, the final icing on this metaphorical cake is going to be how you control your breath. If you let out strong exhales like you're breathing through a straw, that aggressive exhale is going to highlight that intra-abdominal pressure really tightening through your midsection, and again, 15 to 30 seconds at most is all you're going to need if you're creating as much tension uh, and contraction throughout the body as possible. All right. So next time, before you go into a lengthy 90 or second or two minute plank, try about 15 seconds of being totally active and I guarantee you will not be let down. Thank you.